in her new outfit. And then also the Ann doll, the little sister. Oh, did you just see that? Her arm came right off. Only on live video, guys. <laughs> Hello, my cherished friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl, and I'm here with a little bit of a package opening. I got something from Virtual Doll Convention, and I'm super excited to share it. So let's get it open. Well, we have... Elowen already here to see what we have in this package and you can see Nima in the background over there. She's sitting there with her little poodle. Yeah, let's get this package open and see. This is from the berry picking uh, release for the Elowen Wild subscription box uh, a few weeks ago. So it's finally arrived and I'm very excited to see this and try it on her. I actually wasn't planning to do this video today. I was going to do something completely different and then this came by surprise and changed my plan, which is totally fine. All right, let's see what we have. Ooh, one of these really cool bags. And it looks like there's lots of goodies in here. Woohoo! Chic, sleek, and mildly bleak virtual doll convention. So this might be a little bit bouncy. I've got the camera around my neck, but it's great because I can get up nice and close. Maybe too close. <laughs> Let's just see what's in here. Why don't we just dump it all out? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Surprises. What is in here? Oh, this is the main thing that I that I ordered right here. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Look at this. She included a, a funny little purse. It's like it's a plastic purse. But still, it's cute for an accessory. Like it's just a little molded plastic purse. And I got a little strawberry for her berry picking outing. That's really cute. And a keychain. I was told there would be dolls here. <laughs> and also a sticker of the same. And then we got this little thank you card. And it's got a promo code on the back. So my next purchase, I'll get 20% off. That's a really good deal. They always make everything look so pretty, don't they? Look at those cute little fashions. So that's a good thing. And then what do we have here? Oh, beautiful velvet bow. I love the color of that. It's kind of like a teal. And I love these kind of clips. They're easy to use. Those would be good for my American Girl dolls too. It's quite large. Let's see, how, how does that look? Scale wise, yeah, it's pretty big. I mean, it could be for a dress or the back of a dress. I don't know, it's pretty versatile. I like big bows. Christmas time would be a good time for that. Lost in a field of berries and dreams, a little coaster. I'm getting a nice collection of these actually, and I, I do use them. I like to use them by my bedside for my water glass, and uh. They're just handy to have lots of so i love getting the coasters and this thing here is a bonnet it's so cute and it ties in the back i can't wait to try this on her it's gonna look so cute with this berry picking dress and the dress itself has strawberries all over it and we'll open that in a minute but there's one other thing in here oh i remember the other thing i ordered the crinoline. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Here, let's just open this up right away. I was I was right on this when um, she finished her video. I'm not on the Elowin subscription right now. She often has extras that she posts right after for sale. And I know these crinolines sell out and I got right on it and ordered it right away. Look at that beautiful little crinoline. So it has an elastic waist and it has 
layers of tulle. It looks like two layers with a little underskirt underneath and it's satin trimmed. That is really cute. That's gonna add a lot of volume to a lot of the dresses that Elowen has and Nima. I'm probably gonna get more than one. I'd like to have a white one as well. She had a red one too, but I think black is a staple piece. So I'm loving that. And let's get our dress open. And then we can get Elowen all dressed up. Here it is at the bottom. Always fun to get something new in the middle of the week. Oh, so cute. Look at this little dress. It's got the collar and a little hook closure, hook and eye. And a nice waistband and a beautiful zipper. Very nice. The top part is lined and then the bottom is a very um, nicely oh. pleated skirt. Look at that. Kind of like 50s style. That is so pretty. I love it. Thank you, Rachel. And thanks for all the extra little goodies that you included. I didn't expect that. I feel like I got my own little Elowen box. So exciting. Okay, let's get her dressed. So I rearranged a little bit. Nima couldn't stand being so far away from the excitement. So I brought her over and she's got Fluffy here. And she's very interested to see what Elowen's getting because of course these girls share and uh, they fit the same size clothing. So she's gonna probably get a chance to wear this dress too, but today it's for Elowen. So let's try changing her on camera and see how we do. It can sometimes be a bit awkward, but we'll give it a try. And look at Elowen with her little glasses on her head. She's so cute. <laughs> Love those. But we're gonna take those off right now, Elowen. And she's got her little motorcycle jacket happening there. Whoopsies, little wig movement. So I was very excited today watching the release of, or the first viewing of the new Elowen doll by Robert Tonner in her new outfit. And then also the Anne doll, the little sister. Oh, did you just see that? Her arm came right off. Only on live video, guys. Now, I don't think that's supposed to happen, but I'm pretty sure we can fix it. Let's see here. The hands are supposed to detach, but the arms aren't really, I don't think, but um, pretty sure it just clicks in. Yeah, it seems to be okay. There we go. All good. Nothing to see here. <laughs> I mean, they had to have been put together that way anyway, so it makes sense that it would be detachable. No, nope, she's fine. Okay, sorry about that, my dear. So as I was saying, there's a little sister for Grace, our other Robert Tonner doll, and uh, her name is Anne, and she's based on the sculpt of the little Anne of Green Gables doll that he made a while back and they've made her into Anne, Grace's little sister. I think she could be Elowen's little sister too, actually. That's what I might make her into. I'm just gonna take her shoes off here. You know, it was really fun to see um, them showing the dolls for the first time, but kind of, you know, ah, when are we gonna get them? You know, like it gets the excitement going, but I'm so used to being able to see um, a reveal and then shop like an hour later or at least the next day but in this case it's a wait and see kind of thing because they have to decide how they're gonna do everything and uh, if they're gonna do a box for Anne and all of those things they have to work out those details for us so we all have to wait but 
um, it helps to relieve the discomfort of waiting by getting another little happy package in the mail like this. So I'm enjoying my moment with Elowen, getting her into this new outfit, even though I did pull her arm off. <laughs> All right, let's be a little bit more modest here. We don't need to show the camera everything. All right, let's get this little dress on. I'm gonna have to find you some shoes. That's one thing I need to order soon is some shoes. I keep saying that and then I keep forgetting. I get so excited about the dresses and the outfits that I, I don't think about the shoes until it's too late. Okay, let's move your hair out of the way. This seems to be working out well. Oh my gosh, this little dress is so cute and it just fits her. It's so form-fitting right on her waist there. It's beautiful. Aww. Oh, and then we have to do the little neck hook. Sometimes these wigs try to pop off when you're doing things. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. There, so we've got the little the little hook done up there and her back. That's how it looks at the back. Let's get her head turned around in the right direction. Oh my goodness, how pretty. She looks so pretty in this. I love it. This is like a beautiful Elowen doll. I only have one and I think I only need one. I think she's just beautiful and I love her. I've got one of each, one Nima, one Elowen and one Grace. And I'm hoping to get one Anne. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna get yet. I love the dark haired one with the bangs is super cute. She gives me Molly American Girl doll vibes with those pie bangs. And it's a wig too. And apparently the Grace wigs fit the Anne doll. But the other little one is blonde and I like her dress a little bit better. They're the same dress, but a different print. And I feel like I like the print of the blonde one better. And I also like the idea that the hair isn't a wig because all of my dolls are wigged. And it's nice to be able to just, I mean, I can play with her hair a little bit, but it's nice to be able to like pull the hair out and play with it and brush it and not worry about it like moving around and popping off. So I'm thinking I might enjoy having an Anne that is not wig, that's rooted, that I can play with a little bit more freely. But, you know, ideally getting both would be <laughs> what we should do. But I don't think finances will allow that right now. But there is Elowen in her new dress. I will find her some shoes. Oh, and then the hat too. Okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. I'm just gonna slip this on underneath. Looks like it's pretty easy to just slide on here. Oh, how cute. There goes your wig. And that changes everything. Look at the silhouette now. Don't mind her hair. So cute. Get your wig back on. So that gives a different look. So it, you can still see the pleats. So it doesn't poof it out too much that it spoils the pleating, which is good. I mean, it does poof them out a bit, but even like that, oh, that is gorgeous. And then, woohoo, there's her little crinoline. It's not that long, so it can go with a shorter skirt too, but um, it works for this long, longer skirt. I was originally thinking of this bonnet because of the outfit that she had on previously, this little dress, and I thought it would make a nice little little house on the prairie kind of vibe. I think also for strawberry picking, we need a bonnet. So let's get her on her stand. I don't have the shoes out right now. I'll we'll have to go grab those upstairs later. Get that crinoline, it's so adorable. <laughs> I love that effect. I think it would need to be tied underneath her hair. So I'm gonna try and tuck it underneath. Just to 
get the idea. Oh my goodness. That is darling. Okay, Ellen, let's just get your hair out of the way if we can. It's kind of tricky to tie this bow and move our hair at the same time. I need extra fingers here. I appreciate all the styling that Christopher does because these things aren't easy. There we go. Oh my goodness, she looks darling like this. What do you think, everybody? Isn't that cute? I could even put her hair in a little ponytail or something at the back. Darling. And then she's got her little purse. Let's find her little strawberry. <laughs> I love it. This is one of my favorite outfits. Nima, this is gonna look good on you too. Notice Nima in the blonde wig. Doesn't she look cute like that? Okay, everybody, so that is my un unwrapping today. It's not a box, it's a bag. But that's my treats from Rachel Hoffman and Virtual Doll Convention. It's the berry picking alternate dress, not the one in the box. One of the extra dresses offered that you could buy. And I'm so excited that I did. I really wanna build up the wardrobe on my girls so they can have fashion shows and change for the seasons. And it's great for photography and I enjoy it so much. I can't wait until the new dolls are released and I can order my Anne doll. Thank you so much for joining me today while I unwrap this beautiful little strawberry picking, berry picking outfit for Elowin. I think she just looks fantastic in it. And I would, I really hope that you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the like button. I know it's easy to forget, but it really does help my channel. And I look forward to seeing your comments. I enjoy speaking with all you doll collectors out there and hearing what you like and what kinds of dolls you have. And it's just tons of fun to share this hobby with all of you. And I appreciate you all so much. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. I'm over 800 now, we're getting there. So so thank you for all of your support and love and wonderful comments. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.